Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Olympic diver Yonanite Wisdom is currently in Jamaica and he's on a mission to help with the development of the sport on the island. Knight Wisdom is hosting a one-week diving display clinic at the National Aquatic Center and he believes getting interest from the grassroots level is crucial to the growth of the sport. And the whole goal of the camp is to just show that there is some interest in diving and how much people can learn in a short space of time. For now we just need to start at the lowest point and just get some people involved, get some people interested, teach some people about the very basics of diving and then we can slowly build from there. The British-based Knight Wisdom says this is just a starting point as the aim is to make the camp permanent to help produce Olympic divers out of Jamaica. Um, with the, the goal and the hope of some point in the future having a natural program stationed here in Jamaica where you know young kids are training day in day out, um, kids that aspire to compete and represent their country internationally and maybe even reach the highest level of the Olympics. Some football news now. Following her outstanding performance at the just the recently concluded FIFA Women's World Cup, reggae girls midfielder Trudy Carter has signed with Atletico de San Luis in the Mexican First Division. Carter featured in the reggae girls' win over Panama at the group stage and the recent World Cup, as well as their defeat to Colombia after advancing to the round of 16 stage for the first time. Atletico de San Luis currently lie 10th in the league standings on 11 points after seven games with three wins, two draws and two defeats, with their next game set for next Sunday. 28-year-old Carter, who has been representing Jamaica since the under-17 level, has scored 15 goals in 23 appearances. Some athletics news uh, next up. World champions Sharika Jackson and Daniel Williams headline 12 Jamaicans down to compete at the Zurich Diamond League meet in Switzerland on Thursday. Jackson is set to contest the 200 meters where she will face American Gabby Thomas who was second at the recent world championships. Jackson's Bahamian and MVP teammate Anthony Strong will also line up in the half lap event. Williams who secured her second world 100 meter hurdles title in Budapest will battle the Sylvan bronze medalist from Budapest and American Kendra Harrison and Puerto Rico's Olympic champion Jasmine Camacho Quinn. In other events, Jamaica's reigning two-time Olympic double sprint champion Elaine thompson Hira, well, she'll face off with a newly crowned world champion American Jakari Richardson over 100 meters. World Championship Sprint Relay silver medalist Shashali Forbes and Natasha Morrison will also line up in the event. Now, World Championship finalist and 200-meter world record holder Roshan Clark will make his uh, on a 20 world record holder. Roshan Clark will make his uh, Diamond League debut and will face world champion and world record holder uh, Karsten Varholm of Norway in the men's 400-meter hurdles. Another World Championship finalist, Adele Tracy and compatriot Natoya Gould will compete in the women's um, 800 meters. Now, in the field, World Championship bronze medalist Tajay Gale will contest the men's long jump with compatriot Kerry McLeod. Now, they'll battle Greek world champion um, uh, Mil Taidis uh, Tentoglu and while Sh uh, Shanika Ricketts and Kimberly Williams will do battle in the women's uh, triple jump. And that's where we leave the triple jump pit for now. And I am Jeremy Brown. Uh, Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the midday news. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news sports and production teams. Have a good afternoon.